Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush for Leech. I completely forgot about this. I was supposed to give you an update on the Debbie uh, that had some uh, burn on the leaves as you can see uh, which looked like a fungal infection but as I said it is burns and there is nothing to be worried and now you can see it is putting out a lot of new growth because I have shifted the plant uh, to another location where it doesn't receive any afternoon direct sunlight it only receives sunlight until 11 a.m. and after that there is a lot of indirect bright light which has a good amount of intensity so this is that leaf that was burnt as you can see and now there has been a lot of new growth which does not have those uh, scars now imagine if I had no idea about this and if I would have gone ahead and sprayed some kind of insecticide or fungicide that's what a lot of people do when they see any kind of uh, dark spots on the leaves and uh, that would have further damaged this plant because of course Debbie does have a good amount of farina on them and all of the farina would have got disturbed it would have even damaged the succulent to quite an extent wherein the succulent would have uh, not survived probably because of that uh, pesticide or fungicide which was unnecessary because uh, it was nothing related with any uh, fungal attack because I have seen this time and again uh, on a lot of pages on a lot of groups uh, wherein it is just a very simple sunburn and people have recommended to use a spray on it which is absolutely not needed it will further make things complicated it is very very simple identify what the problem is judge whether it is a fungal infection or a burn if it's a burn we do not need to do anything all we have to do is just move it from that source of heat or from the source of direct sunlight what is burning them and then the plant is going to do quite well a lot of times what i have noticed is people tend to identify sunburn as fungus please don't do that uh, the most common fungus that your succulent will get affected with is powdery mildew that is the major fungus that tends to affect our succulents and it's all about just doing a visual check rather than spraying anything if you're not very sure don't spray just keep it aside and see what's happened a lot of times the sunburn tends to look very different over here on this particular succulent the sunburn tends to look very different and uh, a person who does not have a lot of knowledge will think that this is a fungus because it kind of resembles or looks a little bit like fungus but uh, in actual it is just sunburn so now both of the plants are doing quite well of course it's going to take a very long time for them to uh, look fresh and look larger because these are summer dormant succulents so they have either they have already hit dormancy or they are already in the process of uh, getting dormant so there won't be much growth uh, it is going to be very very slow it's not necessary that all of the succulents will shut down completely some tend to grow but at a very very slow pace we already know how slow succulents tend to grow and over here you can see that is even further going to slow down so in other words it's going to be a very minimal growth which is hardly going to be noticed the good amount of growth is going to start during winters once the temperatures get cooler so as of now it's doing quite well i'm very happy that i noticed well in advance and move the uh, succulent otherwise it would have completely got burnt so guys that's all about it i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating